The title Save Rock and Roll is quite a big statement. What do you think rock and roll needs saving from? Uh, I think it, rock and roll may need a little help uh, when it comes to taking itself a little too seriously. Um, and also the idea that rock needs to be uh, this one thing that has to sound uh, like classic rock or else it's not rock, you know, or it has to sound, you know. Um, and <clears throat> I think people forget um, how... Uh, aggressive and, 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 pr and progressive uh, rock has been in the past and now to a degree it's it's unfortunately some of it not all of it has become stagnant and it's like dude like <clears throat> rock and roll was great when it was the outsiders and it was insane you know like it's just like oh yeah and your parents were scared about it and they were like oh yeah and like you can't go to these shows you can't watch this band on tv you know like and then all of a sudden, rock became the status quo, and it's like selling dad's guitars or whatever. Yeah. And that's coming from a dad, you know what I'm saying? And it gets, like, to, it gets to be kind of funny, because now it's like, now... I you, hate dads. <laughs> <laughs> now, Andy, End of question. Now, Andy, I'm a, I'm, a little end I'm a little disappointed in you. And you've got some amazing collaborations on the album as well. Big Sean, Foxes, who's one of my favorites. Ah, Foxes is great. Um, great. And you've got Elson John and Courtney Love. I mean, how is it working with those guys? And what was the process of deciding on who to work with for the album? One of the big things for us with uh, the guests and, and working with people is we wanted to get, get people on this record that understood where we were coming from and what we were doing. Um, and, and there was a really, that was one of the most amazing things about working with, with everybody was that, you know, everybody really did get exactly what we were going for and exactly where we were coming from to the point where there are lyrics on the song we did with Courtney Love that I honestly don't know who wrote what because she was so in tune with us that some of her lyrics sound like ours and some of our lyrics sound like hers. It, it was really succinct and that was kind of, that was kind of, that's what you hope for in a, in a collaboration is that, is that, you know, you're totally in sync with each other. And um, singing competitions like Idol and, and all those have sort of become the norm, but usually bands are excluded from it. It's more solo singers. Do you think that's because bands who come from those kind of shows wouldn't be taken seriously? I think the so the singing competition show thing has had a really interesting kind of effect on on music as a whole because on the one hand I think you're getting it's really forcing much better performance out of people. I'm actually kind of pleased with the way it's kind of changed the art of singing because now you know um, you really it really does come down to you know style and personality and, and above all musicianship. I mean, these people are musicians at the end of the day. And I think that's really special. At the same time, I think, yeah, of course, there are, you know, ways that, that you know, these, these singers win these shows and then, you know, end up being manufactured or whatever. But I think there are absolutely ways to get beyond it. Like, I think Kelly Clarkson's totally spelled out who she is as an artist. I and forgot that Carrie Underwood was on one. Yeah, right? Ren, that's the yeah, thing is that you can forget, you can like, outlive it and be and, and come into your own. So I don't think it's unilaterally like, bad, but I do think that's you know even show like the voice too where a lot of those people were in bands or touring with other cast. people. Yeah, I mean like Cassie yeah. was on our label, you know. Yeah, these are a lot of the, the, that shows that I I kinda of find that show amazing because it gives people who have worked really hard in the music industry like possibly a second I, chance, you know, and, and a chance to stand out on their own. A chance so. that the music industry might not give them. Absolutely. Absolutely.